I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> we literally can't do this anywhere else in the world. Welcome back to the last video in the Tokyo trip, guys. We've saved the best one till last. If you've looked at Tokyo, looked at some stuff to do in Tokyo, then, well, you already know that Mario Kart experience or karting experience at night time, going doing a bit of sightseeing, it's the one to do. So we've selected the best one for you. It's Street Kart Tokyo. It's one of the original ones. And what I'm gonna to do today is walk you through the whole experience. Let's go take a look. So once you've signed the initial disclaimers, etc., um, you're ready to pick out your outfit. So it's pretty much every cartoon character you can think of. Notably though, Mario Kart's actually uh, excluded, so it might be down to copyright issue. If you want to see what I went for, stay tuned to the end of the video. But once you've picked your outfit, as Sun has demonstrated <laughs> as Winnie the Pooh, um, the next step is basically you go through the safety briefing, which is actually um, really really fun uh, it's really energetic and you can probably see there from the animations etc that have been used it's just really fun as an experience all that's left next is to step into the car the excursion hosts make sure that you're strapped in the roll and you can get to all the controls and then finally you start that car itself after this Takusan gives you the driving order this is what you're going to effectively have to stick to um, as you're driving through ready ready Let's go! Woo! 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 Let's go! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Alright, one line! That finger gesture from Takusan basically just means following a single line, so single file. And then in the next clip, you'll see as we're pulling up, he'll do a different hand gesture, which indicates or shows two fingers. That basically means pulling side by side. Those are the two main instructions that you need to look out for when you're driving and it keeps you really, really safe. So there you go, he's telling us keep to um, two at a time. And then in a second, he's gonna say it's safe enough to go single file. So Sana being car number one, she should go out now, there before me. One year. So these are completely road legal carts. That means handbrake, headlights, indicators, everything. So as you're driving around, just remember to switch off the indicator, which I clearly forgot to do here for a little while. In Japan, it's actually illegal to use your phone whilst driving. However, when you're parked up stationary, even at a traffic light, you are allowed to use it. So there's plenty of time for photo opportunities and usually your host will take plenty of photos for you. So thank you, Takusan, for taking some great, amazing, memorable photos of us. So you get a warning that when you're about to go into a rainbow bridge, put on your protective goggles. This is because there's a lot of dirt and stuff soot on the roads, etc., that can fly up and potentially irritate your eyes. So always a good idea. And yep, photo opportunity again. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> you literally can't do this anywhere else in the world. And with this kind of scenery as well.
Handbrake. <laughs> I didn't have a foot on the brake. <laughs> Always use your handbrake. At this point in the tour, you're actually roughly around an hour and a half in, so um, it's been really, really cool. Um, you do start getting a little bit exhausted by this point, but you start heading back, so back towards um, HQ. Um, the carts overall, guys, like to be honest, very, very safe, even though you pull up next to big, large trucks, etc. Uh, plenty of space given, so if you're comfortable driving a car, don't worry, you'll be absolutely fine driving a go kart on the road as well. Um, speed wise, it was anything up to uh, 65, I believe I hit 75 uh, kilometers at one point. So, really, really fun stuff. Woo! That was amazing. Nobody dies! <laughs> Right guys, well that was that was quite possibly the best thing that we've done whilst we've been in Japan. So glad um, we managed to arrange it and specifically in Tokyo. So it is honestly the best way to see Tokyo, um, see the lights etc at night time. Um, really, really glad we did it. Um, just quickly talk you through the booking process. So originally we did book through a online website called Kluk, I think K-L-O-O-K. Um, but basically it took four days for them to tell us that there weren't any dates available and the way that that works is they basically um, uh, contact the vendors afterwards so long story short a lot of hassle didn't get didn't get it best thing to do guys is contact these guys directly street cart tokyo um, you can get them on facebook messenger etc really really good um, the tour guide we had, um, I've forgotten his name, but he absolutely brought the energy, um, matched it completely, really, really good experience. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, changed, etc., um, and head off, but hopefully you found this video useful. If you are coming to Tokyo, absolutely, it should be on your bucket list, and um, yeah, let me know if you found the video useful, give it a fat thumbs up, and any questions, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.